Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I made this Christmas tree ornament stand, then keep on watching. So here are the materials you will need. I am using a Cricut chipboard, purple cutting mat, and a painter's tape. And you can grab this free SVG file on my blog at ccdsmith.com. You can go on there and have a look around and with this, just search for the Christmas tree ornament stand and you will find my blog post along with a free file that you can download for your own cutting machine software. So I'm in design space and I'm just going to the left panel and click upload, upload, browse, and make sure that you choose the SVG format. Click continue, name the file. You can also put tag if you like, and then just click save. Click on the image and then we're going to click insert. And I'm just going to bring this up on the top left corner and I'm going to change the height to 8.5 in inches. Now let's grab a shape and I'm just using this as a reference. So let's say I have a three inch ball and it would work on a size of eight and a half inch in height of the stand. And if it's too tight for you, you can always adjust it to your preference. And don't forget to consider making room for the top of the ornament. Now I'm going to change the size of the ornament ball to three and a half and then resize the tree. And just so you know, you can make this as tall as 10 and a half in inches. Now I'm just going to delete the shape. So I'm just going to change the tree back to eight and a half in inches because that's what I need. Right here it shows you that there are two layers and that they are grouped. So let me show you what happens when I click make it. See how this piece moved? I'm going to drag this piece back here because I want to save that side of my chipboard for other projects. Now let me cancel this so we can go back to our workspace. So you already know that there are two layers in this image. So this time, what we're going to do for it not to move, we are going to click Attach and then Make It. And I'm just going to move this a bit away from the side, just like this. And then click Continue. Then go to Browse Materials, and I'm just going to type Chipboard, and it's the heavy chipboard right here. Then click Done. And right here, there's a message that popped up if you would like to calibrate your knife blade now, which it's recommended, so you either click Yes or No. It is up to you or if it's needed. So this message right here is just letting you know that this cut is going to take quite some time. And there's a reminder to move all the star wheels to the right to ensure that the material is no wider than 11 inch and is secured to a strong grip mat using masking tape on all four sides. So now let's go ahead and prepare our tools in our mat. I'm just placing the chipboard onto the mat and I'm using a painter's tape to secure the chipboard on all four sides. So this is a brand new knife, so let me go ahead and open this and show you how to put it into your Cricut Maker. So open slot B and remove the fine point blade and place it onto the storage. Place the knife blade and then close the slot B. And don't forget to move all the star wheels to the right. Now we're going to load the mat. Then hit start. Right here, it will cut and do 24 passes to finish cutting the chipboard.
Once it's done cutting, you will be prompted to check your cut if it looks good or if you need to cut more. Unload the mat. Then we're going to remove all of the painter's tape away from the mat and chipboard. Gently remove the chipboard from the mat. At first it's a bit tight to put the bottom of the tree on the stand, but it will eventually fit. And if it's loose, just put some hot glue on it for more stability. Alright you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. And don't forget to grab that free file on my blog. I will link everything under the description box in case you guys need it. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye guys!